Uh, some updates. Hold on. Okay, so I've been working on this rodent coil over Thanksgiving. I had some free time. I want to show it to you. It's pretty cool. That's a big. That's a big coil. I mean, there's my hand in front of it. It's pretty good size. Uh, turned out really nice. See the wires are on there pretty good. Um, nice. It's nice and round in here, which I was impressed with because every other coil I made always turns out like crap. So that's the regular rodent with the uh, thousand. 3,000 plus turns of number 30 inside. Um, I will show you what the coil is. That's inside there. Some of you haven't seen me when I built these. They're on my YouTube channel. You can go check it out. Basically, this is the coil of wire. See how small the wire is. If it'll focus. But uh, that's on the inside of here. So it's actually right there inside of here. Now what I'm going to do, and Jack actually had this idea, I'm going to take this coil and I'm going to place this one on top of it and see what kind of effects I get with the coil on the inside and see what the difference is. Does it have to be on the inside or not? Uh, other little update really quick, because I'm out of time, is the Abba, Abha Taurus. This is really, really fun. You can see the wire wraps around and then back through the center. And on the inside, it's smaller than on the outside. You can see how the wires spread out and get small. So that's two wraps out of 12 wraps. And then I'll probably go ahead and cover the entire thing. And I've actually used a lot less copper. Um, I've done two wraps and I've used hardly any copper compared to what I did before. Granted, it's a different pathway, so it's a little different. But point being, if this works as good or better than the rodent coil, then we'll know. That's the reason I'm doing this. This also has that coil wire on the inside. Alright, I'm out of time. This is Russ. I'm out. Do some stuff.